Thank you for calling the Perfect Solution Stores Insurance Program Hotline for Public Stores Canada. Para Español o Prima Ocho. For the past day after you just thank. New claims. To report a new claim, press 1. Existing claims. For status or questions. For U.S. claims, press 1. Hi, Gracer. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is Professor Solange Martinez. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, do you know me? You sounded like you know me. You kept quiet after I said my name. No, ma'am. Oh, okay. Um, I called because I called um, the other day. I left a message. I called twice. I called and I spoke to one of you uh, from uh, Perfect Solution, uh, the insurance for public storage, and I spoke to a female representative. Then she transferred me to speak to one of your uh, representatives, the one that uh, are in charge of the claims after she gave me a claim number. And I left a message, but nobody uh, got back to me. That was uh, last week. Uh, this week I called and nobody picks up. Um, when I spoke to the uh, public storage uh, manager, Miss Lenise, she didn't give me her last name. Uh, they don't give their last names or uh, ID numbers, uh, even though they're supposed to do it by law. Um, and uh, this is regarding uh, a ladder that uh, somebody stole from me while my stuff was in the rented room that I rented at public storage at 400 Nepperhan Avenue in Yonkers, New York, 10701. And also a hand truck uh, that is uh, 6497 uh, that was uh, also stolen from my space uh, that I rented at public storage. And I informed of uh, this um, ladder uh, stealing uh, $65.26 uh, and uh, the hand truck uh, stealing uh, to the manager, Lenise, and she never uh, said, oh, I'm going to look up the um, uh, security cameras or the videotapes to identify who uh, took your ladder and uh, your hand truck over uh, $150 worth uh, or anything like that. And then something very uh, peculiar uh, happened. I called the police. Um, the police was uh, six, po uh, six or five police officers came. They were looking at uh, Miss Lenise, the manager, and they were laughing with her. Uh, and when I asked them to please file the police report, to write the police report about my uh, stolen um, uh, articles, they refused to file the police report. Then when I called you guys, you said that uh, you needed a police report. And then when I said that I was going to contact the news reporters regarding this, um, then you said you didn't need a police report. Um, this stealing of my ladder and my hand truck uh, happened, uh, interestingly, when uh, on October, um, manager Lenise uh, asked me for more money. She wanted to overcharge me. And when I refused to be overcharged, then manager Lenise um, seemed to be uh, mad or angry. And then after that, uh, my ladder, uh, coincidentally, of course, disappeared with a hand truck because somebody broke into my room after um, I refused to be overcharged by uh, Miss Lenise. And then, uh, interestingly enough, uh, and um, coincidentally, of course, then the police refused to file the report, so there is no documentation uh, that this happened, well, on their part, because I'm documenting myself and reporting this to the pertinent federal and state agencies and also the public. So um, after I spoke uh, with Ms. Lenise on October 20th, 2015, at approximately 4... Okay, ma'am, ma'am, uh -huh. ma'am, this 
Yeah, I, I don't want to interrupt you, but unfortunately, I'm unable to assist you with this. So this is the intake department, so I just take the claim. Um, I would have to refer you to the examiner that's processing the claim. Uh, can you provide me with your claim number so I can pull up your information and refer you over to them? Yes. That's something that I can do personally. Yes, okay. that's exactly what the other person told me last week, uh, and they told me that the adjuster was going to call me yesterday uh, or the day before. And yesterday and the day before came and went, and nobody called me. Uh, nevertheless, my ladder and my hand truck uh, still are stolen, and I paid over $500 uh, worth of insurance to you guys. The claim number is 301 one and um, I can, I can, you know, uh, provide, also provide you with the adjuster's supervisor's information, contact information if you want, and you can um, reach out to them and see if they're able to assist you. Can you uh, say that one more time, please? If you're unable to uh, reach the, the adjuster that you said you've been trying to reach and haven't returned a call back, I can provide you with her supervisor's contact information, and you can reach out to him and see if you can um, discuss the situation with him. Yes, okay? well, you, well, I am able to reach the adjuster. He just doesn't return my calls, and uh, you guys are nowhere to be found uh, when it comes to my claim after I paid you a lot of money for over five years uh, for insurance. Can you give me the supervisor's phone number and transfer me there, please? I can. His name is Dan, D-A-N. Okay, hold on. Let me just write it down. Uh, supervisor. Um, Perfect Solution. That's the name of your company, right? Perfect Solutions. Correct? That, that, that's, our, that's our client. We're a third-party administrator, so they are our client, yes. Okay, and your your name, per se? My name is Rachel. No, no, <laughs> Rachel. I'm talking about Perfect Solution is the insurance company that I paid uh, the five, over $500 to. In our name is, we are Sedgwick, S-E-D-G-W-I-C-K. Okay, can you say that uh, slowly, please? As is in Sam. Uh-huh. D as in David, D as in girl, W as in water, I, C as in cat, and the letter K. Uh, that's Sidwick, S as in Sam, E as in Edward, D as in David, G as in George, W, I, C, K, correct? Segway, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Segway, okay. So I'm calling Segway, not perfect solution, right? They're our clients, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, they handle their clients. Clients. Okay. Okay. And the supervisor's name? First name is Dan. D is in David. A. N is in Nancy. And his last name or ID number, please? Last name is H. A. C. A. E. N is in Nancy. J. O. H as in Harry, A as in Apple, Z as in Zebra, A as in Apple, E as in Edward, N as in Nancy, J as in John, O as in Orlando, S as in Sam. No, ma'am. It's H as in Harry, A, C as in Cat, K as in Pike, E, N as in Nancy, J as in Jelly. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold, 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 hold. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on, please. Uh, H A C K as in kilometer, and what else? D is in Edward. Mhm. Mm N is in Nancy. Mhm. Mm J is in Jelly. Mhm. Mm o is in Oscar. Mhm. Mm F is in Sam. Okay, and what is what uh, what is uh, his title? What uh, department is he in? He's a claim supervisor. Okay, claim supervisor. Okay, and his number? 503-412-3975. Okay, 
And can you transfer me uh, to him so I can leave him a, a message? I hope this uh, third message is not unanswered by your company. Okay. And I'll be transferring you now. Thank you so much for calling, ma'am. You have a great day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, it's Lisa Mellon and Kathy Joseph with Frederick Perfect Solution. I'm away from the phone right now. If you could give me a message with your name and your claim number, I will return your call in the order received. Thank you and have a nice day. At the tone, please record your message. When you are finished recording, hang up or press 1 for more options. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Professor Solange Martinez. I'm calling you from New York um, regarding the public storage at uh, 400 Nepperhen Avenue in Yonkers, New York, 10701. My number here is 347-721-9255, 347-721-9255. This is the third message that I uh, leave uh, for your company. And I hope this third message is, uh, is not unanswered like the first two. Um, I stored my property uh, at the said um, public storage in Yonkers, New York. And uh, I have been paying insurance to you for the last uh, five years or, or so, um, uh, several hundreds of dollars. And after um, manager of the public storage, uh, Linis, uh, try to overcharge me uh, money. I refused to be overcharged. Then I contacted her supervisor. Her supervisor uh, called this to her attention and she stopped. Several days later, um, this occurred on October uh, 20th, 2015 at approximately 4.15 uh, p.m. Several days later, um, m uh, somebody broke into my rented space uh, at her office, uh, the public storage where she's the manager, and uh, somebody um, broke into my um, rented room, stole a ladder and a hand truck. Uh, the hand truck um, is approximately, let's see, oh, I have the exact amount here, $64.97, $64.97, and the ladder is uh, $65.26. Um, after uh, I refused to be overcharged by this manager, then my stuff got um, stolen. Then I called the police. About five police officers uh, or six police officers showed up, and they were laughing with her. Uh, and um, I asked them to please write the um, police report uh, of my stolen about my stolen property, and they refused. Interestingly. Uh, so uh, I am uh, overcharged uh, by the manager at the public storage. After I refuse to be overcharged, my stuff gets stolen. And after uh, that, I call the police. The police is laughing uh, and um, joking with the manager, uh, Lenise. And then they refuse to do uh, a police report, to file a police report. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty obvious what is going on at that public storage. Uh, and um, then I called uh, you, filed a claim, claim number 301-549-828-410-001. Um, that was on December 4th, 2015 at approximately 3.44 p.m. I spoke to Ms. Sh uh, Sharon. Uh, a reference number is 16982. She refused to give me her last name, uh, and I think we both know why. Uh, and uh, after I spoke to Sharon, um, then she told me that um, uh, she filed the claim uh, and gave me the claim number, and she gave me a phone number of uh, your uh, supervisee, the adjuster. And uh, when I called, I left uh, two messages. Uh, nobody answered my messages. 
Then when I called again, I received a voicemail. Uh, there is nobody there taking the claims or resolving the claims. And then um, I spoke to another representative from your company, uh, Perfect Solutions. Uh, I don't think it's that perfect, but... The person told me that uh, I needed to speak with you. You are the supervisor of the uh, adjuster that failed to return my calls or failed to follow through my uh, claim after my um, property got obviously stolen um, because I refused to be overcharged by the manager. And then the police officers who were laughing with the manager refused to file a police uh, um a, a police report regarding my stolen property. So yeah, give me a call. Give me a call when you get a chance. Again, my phone number is 347-721-9255. Please make an entry. Or choose this connect, press 1. Enter another number, press 2, for a 